Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be addressing washing our wigs. How often should we wash it? Is there a difference between washing our wefted caps and washing our hand tied caps? Stay tuned and we're going to cover all of those questions right now. I do want to mention that my wigs are all purchased at Wig Studio One. Right now, I'm wearing Drew by John Renault in the color Salted Caramel. This Drew is H has HD fibers. The other wig that I'm going to be using for the demonstration is Lucy. This is from John Renault from the Professional line. This is straight synthetic, and this is also in Salted Caramel. They can be purchased. I will leave links to both of them, but Lucy needs you need you would need to go through support because these uh, the professional line is not available on online for online orders. But however, the if you contact support at wigstudio1.com, they will be more than happy to help you with availability, colors, pricing, and all of that good stuff. Like I said, I'll leave all the information down below for you. Lucy had a has. Um, a hand tied cap. So we're going to be looking at how to wash the hand tied cap. The reason why it's different washing the hand tied cap than washing our regular um, wefted cap is because if we soak the hand tied cap, we're, we are going to um, risk loosening up the knot. So we don't want to soak our wigs. Whereas our wefted caps, we can soak them for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. The other question that, I, and I'm going to, I'm going to do a little demonstration of washing our hand tied cap as well as our wefted cap. But the other question that is also asked is how often should I wash my wigs? I was at a recent John Renault training and the rule of thumb that they suggest is every six to eight wears, and each wear is about eight to 10 hours. So about every 64 hours or so, depending on how long, uh, depending on the products that you use, depending on the weather, actually washing the wigs less is more. So if you wear your wig just four hours a day, then you can go a lot longer. Uh, before you wash your wigs. If you wear your wigs eight or 10 hours, then yes, the suggested is right around that 64, 70 hours of wear. And I, so I, I think that's a, a pretty good rule of thumb. And some, some say, well, I wanna wash my wig every week. The problem with washing every week is that then they wear, the fibers will wear out quicker synthetic fibers and the more we wash them the more work the more wear they're going to have so we want to the or the faster they're going to deteriorate if that if if that makes any sense so i always i personally kind of wait that 60 70 hours depending on how long i wear them and i don't use too much products on my wig so that's something else to take into consideration if you if you use a lot of hairspray if you use uh, a lot of uh, peace out anything like that those are some of the things and then yeah you know, the test of smell and the te how how is it feeling and sometimes they feel a little bit drier and you don't need to wash it. Just add a little bit of steam to the end, whether they're synthetic fibers like Lucy or they're heat friendly fibers like Drew. You can still add some heat at the end and that will just bring it back to life and you don't need to go through the, uh, through the washing of them. All right, let's take, uh, let's take a look at washing the hand tied cap. As I do with all of my wigs, the first thing I do is use the John Renault HD Smooth Detangler. I do this with my straight synthetics as well as my HD fibers, just to make sure that there are no tangles when I wash my wigs. Take a wide tooth comb and just comb it through. The nape. I knew there weren't any tangles on this one because I detangled last night, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you how I did it. 
then I go through and make sure there are no tangles. If I find a little snag, I'll just take a spritz of the detangler, spray a little bit on it, and just make sure I continue on. So now I know there are no tangles and I could go ahead and wash. I do wanna make a, a mention about this towel. This is a microfiber towel and I just started using this on my wigs. I just purchased it at Ulta and I just think it'll be gentler on my wigs than uh, a regular towel. I'm getting my kitchen redone. <laughs> that is stained from the many years, but uh, my new sinks haven't arrived yet. I just wanted you to know I'm not showing you this on a dirty sink. I have one of these for my, just for my wigs, and I fill it up with water. And I'm just using cool water here. I'm using the shampoo from Hair You Wear, the cleanse. I also use the aesthetical one, but I ran out of that one, so I'm using this. Just a couple of drops in the water, and I swish it around, and I set that to the side. Now that's the way I do it. If you wanna put some shampoo in your hand when you're washing your wig, you can certainly do that. Okay, this is Lucy, and as you can see, Lucy has a hand-tied cap. We don't want to soak our hand-tied caps because we don't want to risk loosening loosening any of the knots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the sprayer mode and I'm just gonna go down in the direction of the fibers. I'm gonna wet the cap and I'm just gonna make sure that I, I had to turn it off so I could talk to you. I just wanna make sure that the water is running down I don't want to hold it this way. Hold. I don't want to hold it by, by the tag or anything and make the fibers go in the opposite direction. I'm just holding it by the top and that's how I'm going to allow the water to fall through. If I want to change the part a little bit, I can take this opportunity and move the, the fibers over and then let the water run in that direction and that will move the part somewhat not as well as if i would steam it but and i want to make a mention also that even though lucy is a, a traditional synthetic i would do exactly the same thing with my hand tied that are hd once i know that it's all totally wet i'm going to take my water with the shampoo and i'm going to let it um, flow through the wig and set some aside and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gently going to massage. I'm trying to stay away from the cap as much as possible. I'm just massaging it through. Then for the cap, even though this is not dirty, this is a brand new wig, but I'm doing this just to show you. Um, I'm going to add some to the cap and I'm going to just massage it around the cap the lace front, the full mono, and that should be sufficient. So now I'm going to turn the water back on and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rinse it. And I could hold it, if you don't have a sprayer, you could just hold it under the running water and just gently make sure there's no soap left in the cap and just continue holding it down. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm not going to wring it I'm just going to gently squeeze the water. Just squeeze the water out. Now I'll place Lucy on my micro towel. I'm just going to wrap it up a little bit. And I'm just going to press down gently just to make sure that there is, just to try to eliminate the excess water. Because I don't want to soak Lucy, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some of the Beauty Mark leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to spray it on Lucy and then I'm just going to let it dry. If it was a regular, a wefted cap, then I might go ahead and soak it in the conditioner. But with my hand-tied caps, I, I always use a leave-in conditioner. If you don't have the leave-in conditioner, you could use the same cup, add water, dissolve the conditioner that you have, spread it around your wig and then rinse like I did with the with the shampoo. 
And now we'll take a look at washing the wefted cap. This is Cafe Chic by Beltress in brown sugar sweet cream. I wore this on my trip from uh, Florida to Kansas and I have yet to wash it. It's been, I've probably worn it close to 80 hours already. So <laughs> Cafe Chic and brown sugar sweet cream is definitely due for a wash. My sink is filled with cool water. I've added the shampoo. And because Cafe Chic has a wefted cap, I do not have to wash Cafe Chic under running water. I'm just going to place it in the water. What I do is I add cool water and the shampoo. Never use uh, hot water. Now I'll just let Cafe Chic sit there in the water and shampoo for about 15 minutes and that will be sufficient. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is, once again, I'm just going to massage, take some of the water, just clean the, uh, the lace and clean inside in the cap. And now I'll just rinse under cold running water. Once all the soap is out or the shampoo is out, gently squeeze like we did with the hand tied cap. And now I'm going to just place it on the microfiber towel the, these towels are pretty huge, so we can use a cup, use them for a couple of wigs. Press it down to eliminate any of the excess water. I have my collapsible wig stand here. Because Cold Brew Chic is a machine-made cap, I could very well have filled up the sink, used some conditioner in the water, then hung it up to dry after rinsing. But because I didn't bring my conditioner with me, all I have is my spray, my leave-in conditioner. That's what I'm going to use. But you could do the, the same thing as we did with the shampoo. If you only have the, the conditioner that is mixed in with the water, I'm just going to spray. And we don't want to comb the wigs while they are wet. So I'm, I'm just going to use my fingers to separate the fibers and basically finger style it just a little bit. Once the wig is dried, then I could go ahead and comb. Yep, not much of a difference. It's pretty much the same. Right. Thank you, everyone. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.